Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to um, create a team change. Now, I know I made a video a few weeks ago, where, like really back uh, ago, and this is a better version of it, so this is like, you could call it 2.0 basically, and um, let's get started. Uh, now, this is going to be similar to when you basically spawn into a jailbreak and ask you prisoner or uh, police. We're just going to be going with the average, like the simple uh, red and blue team, because that's what we did last time, so I don't want to get confused, I don't want you guys to get confused. So, it's pretty simple, so first off, what you want to do is go on Strategy UI, and insert a screen UI. Inside here, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm not going to, but yeah. Inside here, what you want to do is insert a frame. And just and in in the properties, uh, go to background transparency and click and just change it to one so it's fully transparent. And then scroll down a bit more. Oops, what just happened? Yeah, so scroll up down a bit more, and right where you see size, you want to do type in the exact same number. So one comma zero, comma one comma zero. So that should fill up your entire screen right now it's transparent but if I make it untransparent as you can see it's filled up the whole screen so just make it transparent and yeah inside your frame now insert two text buttons or image buttons if you have images but I'm just gonna do text buttons and this is good so far I'm just gonna make something simple make two of them so just duplicate them and uh, let's make sure so uh, background transparency is it's okay uh, border size pixel make a zero or if you want it to be outlined so yeah you can do that and then I'm going to select like one of them at a time and then this one's going to be the blue team so we're gonna turn this to blue and the, and uh, and we're also gonna name it just name it blue team there we go over here do the same thing red team there we go and oops, I actually made a mistake here. There we go. And then uh, do the same thing. So just uh, customize it the way you like. So I'm just gonna change. Uh, make sure text is scaled, and then do um, join red. And change the font here. And let's do source and bold. There we go. And I'm gonna change the color to white. Cause that looks best, I think. Then do the same thing with your blue team. So let's make this white. And then let's name it join blue. Or whatever, you could do join prisoner team or join police team. But I'm just going to do like this. There we go. And once you've got that done, um, now what you want to do inside both of these, you want to insert uh, script. Right? Now, actually, now before we get started with the script and before we guys start spamming comments in the section, I'm just gonna give this that this is not my script. This script is actually written by GamerMay, so it's a really nice YouTuber. If you go to my channel and then scroll down a little, it's gonna be saying like check out these awesome channels. Uh, that's where his his videos are really great, honestly. So that's where I get most of my ideas. So I actually have it here, and uh, yeah. So basically, before actually, I forgot something. Before you actually insert the script, make sure so you just click on this little UI button thing. So get rid, get rid of these for a sec. Uh, be sure to insert two spawns. Now, if you don't know how to insert these spawns, um, be sure to watch uh, the previous video or no, not previous video. Just watch the last video on the team section, so you know what I'm talking about. And uh, that'll because that'll be used in this video, obviously. So also and the teams. Um, Remember to add both of them. Now, I didn't tell you guys last time, but on your spawns, right? Um, if you scroll down properties, make sure uh, right over here uh, under teams, make sure your neutral and allow team touch unchanged are both unchecked. Because we want them to be unchecked. And yeah. So make sure those are that. And then make sure inside your teams, insert a team color, uh, insert two teams, red and blue, and change them to the team color you want them to be. And, uh, yeah, you just go watch previous. It's going to be in a card just right up here somewhere, right over here. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so once you're done that, in your inside your script, so let's make these visible again. Inside your script, now this is the blue team. Yeah, this is the red team, so we're going to keep it like this. And do the same thing inside. So duplicate the script, insert it into the blue team, and then just change this to really blue. 
Oh yeah, this is supposed to be really blue. Oops. This is supposed to be really red. There we go. And there you go. So once you're done that, and you spawn, you should be able to see uh, both the GUIs, and, but also like the spawns, and I should be able to uh, join different uh, teams. Now, um, yeah, so as you can see, guys, by default, I'm actually on the red team. Now, you might spawn the, some random team, but yeah, I'm on the blue, I'm on the red team right now, as you can see. And, and if I touch the blue team, I cannot join the blue team. So I actually have to click this button. If I, so if I click the button, as you can see, I'm instantly on the blue team. And once I spawn in, I'm on the blue team. And uh, if I click the red team, I'll join the red team. It's pretty simple stuff. And this is an upgrade version. Now, this is going to be a third, or maybe I, basically this is going uh, to be a, maybe a better version. If a better version comes out, I'm going to post it right away. And here's another tip. Um, if you go uh, down here to starter player, it should be here, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Starter player, I think it was scripts or this one. No, I think it's starter player, yeah. If you go here, and uh, it should, I think it's supposed to be somewhere here. I'm not exactly sure because I haven't really done it in a long time. Uh, there's something like where you can uh, choose, yeah, in players, here. So yeah, if you go to players under the workspace, uh, in the properties, there's going to be a thing called respawn time. You can change this to whatever you want, like 10. Now, by default, to be 5. Let's just make it like 1. If you do 1, it's going to like instantly spawn. If we, let's do 0. And it'll just instantly spawn you. That's I think it just makes it better. It makes your game better. Because then people don't have to wait forever. Like, do just respawn already. It's not. It doesn't take forever then. So as you can see, if I'm on the red team, if I click on the blue button, I'm going to be on the blue team. So if I click this, I instantly spawn. Like, it's instant. But yeah, you can make it some somewhat longer. And that's basically how you create a 2.0 version of changing teams. So hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.